Hi there everyone and welcome to another live with Scratch Magazine. My name is Helena and I'm joined by a lady who probably needs no introduction whatsoever, the fabulous Hazel Dixon. Welcome Hazel. Hello. <laughs> and uh, thank you for joining us today and I think it's, it's lovely that you've, you've put this time aside for us because you wear so many hats at the moment that you're you're a brand founder, um, you're an educator, you're running your academy, you're launching new things, um, and you you have been an internationally award-winning nail professional and a judge and anything. What have I missed? <laughs> <laughs> um, not much. I um, yeah, I do wear a lot of hats, and it's quite hard. I think I do must do about sixteen hours a day. I work till the early hours of the morning. It's a bit crazy, but I like the holidays because my daughter literally helps all the time she's like my little mini assistant so I'm going to be lost without her when she goes back to college <laughs> oh goodness well you've got so much going on at the moment haven't you like you've um a lot has happened to you in the last couple of weeks pre-summer holidays do you want to tell us about some of the exciting awards that you might have won <laughs> um well yeah I won what I would class as the big one like the one that ultimately you'd really really want so services to the industry is one that oh I can remember when scratch started scratch stars 10 years ago and I got to find out about it via um Alex Fox at Nail Olympia it was one of my first Nail Olympias I ever did so it must have been is it 2015 16 something like that 2012 we launched scratch stars so I don't know. If, did you enter? Oh, in the it was years that I that I won at Nailing. Yeah, it was 2012. Mm -hmm. Was my very first one. Um, yeah, um, and I was like, oh, this is amazing because there's nothing like it, you know. And Scratch Stars is definitely something that I am very supportive of. I absolutely love. And um, yeah, so ten years later to win that was like. Oh, I cried a lot, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it was so lovely, but it, it's nice that it means so much and it was so well deserved because you do give so much to the nail industry, like with through your brand uh, specifically, just touching on that. Um, you know, you, you do so much in terms of R&D into your brand and um, make, making sure that you, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's on absolutely everything before you're happy with something and you will let that you know, be sold to nail professionals. Uh, your academy, your training, your team, you know. you Yeah, because we run Ultimate Nail yeah. Team as well, which was um, amazing. We were absolutely, I don't know, I say the word a lot, chuffed to bits is my saying. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that means a lot to the girls because they do work very, very hard and they're all award winners on their own as well, in their own right. Um, so I know, you know, and I know personally from the competing over the last sort of 15 years, how hard it is to do that. Um, the dedication that you have to have and the time that you have to put aside around your family and running your businesses and salons and everything else. It takes a lot of, a lot of hard work. So um, anyone that gets up on that stage and wins an award or even in the finals, like to be in the, the top five is really difficult. So, you know, everyone should be, over the moon just to be there you know what I mean so um so yeah I I don't know this year was like amazing because <laughs> obviously no. Kat and Kaylee won as well and exactly and on to Kat and Kaylee you've now given them a little bit of a promotion within your team haven't you they scooped two awards each at the Scratch Stars and now they've got another title under their belt they have and um, we actually spoke about it after Scratch Stars because I was like we knew about four to five weeks before Scratch Stars. So we already knew that they were going to be taking that role on. Um, but where I'd been so busy and I'd been away with the family and stuff, I hadn't got around to announcing it. So um, yeah, them two just are, uh, I, I don't have any, they're just amazing. Um, they're just so inspirational. They work hard, they're everything that, and now tech should be. Yeah. Can I say that? <laughs> um, of course you can. You're the boss. You can say whatever you like. They are. They're just so passionate. And they're, you know, we've got, as you know, like in our team, we are very much all on the same page. We all work for the same goals and that we have the same ethos and morals. And we can talk to each other as much as I'm the boss. Um, 
they can come to me and go right hey I feel like this needs to change or this is and I will always take that on board and you know and run with it and, and work with them it's not just about me um it's you know about making sure with regards to all of that stuff that the education is top notch it's you know we're on top of things I'm always changing things up and making it better um as much as we can um and now with the blended learning of online as well as in-house um that was quite a difficult step for me to make because I am as you know a very big believer in in-house training for beginners especially um so we managed to work it out and do it so we have this theory online and you can submit all your assignments online um but the actual practical training happened in-house because that's what we believe in um so yeah they're going to be helping me keep on top of all of that <laughs> absolutely so, and you're they're, so they're, they're official tasks with joint heads of education aren't they, they are. it's such a we've expanded so much um in the last couple of years that to take that job on as one person is too much now um you know because they have salons and training schools and they've all got kids as well so I felt you know the two of them work very well together um yeah and they deserved it as well they're, they're very good at what they do they come up with some cracking ideas so yeah I'm more than happy that they've said yes <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work doesn't it it does you know? that's, our, that's our hashtag isn't it <laughs> <laughs> and um so that brings me on to your your latest launch um which is HD Nail TV which is a new approach to professional development and learning so tell us all about it Oh, I've had this idea for a couple of years. It was actually sort of a COVID time and I just wasn't sure if people were ready. Um, and I'm not going to lie, like I'm very much, I love in-house training. I don't believe you can get any better than that. Having that educator next to you, watching your every movement, helping to correct it if there's something wrong or praising you when it's right. To do that under camera, it can be very, very difficult if the student setup's not right. So... I, said, oh, I had the idea for a long, long time and I was like, I have all these people around the world wanting to train with me. But obviously with COVID, it was difficult. I wasn't, you know, I couldn't and travel. We actually spoke about it. Sorry, a little bit of feedback there. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was my side. Sorry. Like, so I thought somebody else was joining us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I developed the platform for the online learning anyway um, mm. during COVID. And I've been on a bit of a personal journey this last year with my health and one thing and another and I was like hey you just need to do it you know the economics at the moment you know and all of that it's more difficult for people to travel because of cost um and how can I make it easy access that they literally have me all the time in their back pocket um so yeah I've put a lot into it um, and it's just going to get better and better so basically it is aimed at existing techs um, and we all know when we go on courses over the years we often forget bits and pieces and this way they can always go back and refer back to it it's not just a tutorial platform we're including you know chemistry on products and what they're about and why you know especially with the HEMA debate at the moment you know I explain why HEMA's not the devil um why it why it would be used why it wouldn't be used what's the alternatives um you know and i believe with regards to that without getting into a debate um that a lot of it is good application good education correct lamps and you know i think moving forward it doesn't matter we, we use chemicals on a daily basis even if we take away HEMA and we put something else in it's still a chemical and I think that we need to make people more aware of we are dealing with chemicals and we do need to be safe and we do need to make sure it doesn't touch the skin and I feel you know that's part of um what's on there and getting the facts across to people it's very easy with the internet these days to type in something and find such a mishmash of different opinions and advice um and i want to make sure that hd now tv you know gives the right information that's based on fact rather than opinion necessarily um so yeah this month we've got an interview with an amazing us based now tech called madison jones um and he does a lot of press on nails for uh the drag queens on rupaul show um 
so it was absolutely lovely to speak to him and get you know him across so there's always going to be a section every month on let's talk with you know um and it's all going to be based on them people got some amazing people coming on um yeah so in every month I, this month we've based it on the full gel cover tip so there'll be a specific sort of theme i guess you would call it every month what you can do with them how you apply them what, how you can make press-ons with them even down to pricing and nail art and the chemistry behind them how to size them what kits to give to your clients you know how to do the videos and it is jam-packed full of so much based on that one topic and that's what I want to do every month so basically everyone can go back and keep referring to it and they've got a whole big bible of videos and tutorials and application techniques and yeah I'm excited if you've had some really good feedback so far from those that have signed up right and I think it's it's almost like I, I guess a way of maybe I would detect it it's it's like a Netflix for nail education so every month you've got a new series that comes out but you are focusing on a on a different topic and yeah. what I loved about um that when you sent me the run through of what your August series involves so each month am I right in saying that there's going to be a minimum of eight episodes yeah I think this month has 10 I yeah. couldn't not do it <laughs> by, by the end of the year there'll probably be 20 episodes <laughs> <laughs> value for money great value for it money. is massively I wanted it to be affordable yeah. um, but obviously equally the time that gets put into it yeah. and the costs involved I had to I had to do it for a minimum of that um so yeah uh so it's, it's only it's everything I've learned for several the last 17 or 18 years will be going into this so it's amazing and it's only 29.99 per month so you know that's that's a bottle of wine really isn't it and you're getting at least eight episodes of knowledge from Hazel Dixon and her team on on such yeah. varied topics whether it be nail art one month or a technique um or you know application general industry topics and what what I really loved about your series on seeing the rundown of, of the first, uh, the August series as well, is what you touched on earlier in that you're really bringing in a lot of business knowledge as well, because it's all very well having the nail skills and, you know, this is for existing nail technicians, so they're at a certain level already, but a lot of them don't get to learn business skills, marketing skills, self-promotion, social media prowess through doing a standard nail uh, qualification or at college and you like we said earlier you've worn so many hats and you continue to wear so many hats so you're bringing that knowledge as a salon owner an academy owner a brand founder a researcher development um, personnel into that arena and I think that's going to be so useful for so many people especially in this current climate when we need to yeah and with the business side I've made many mistakes along the way because that wasn't that wasn't my forte as such you know I got into nails because I loved art yeah. <laughs> um and I wanted to earn a living around the kids you know that's why I think you know there would be a lot of people that would associate with that um but I found that I absolutely loved it and every sort of avenue that I I ended up, you know, going down or opportunities that I got, I learned something else, you know, like I did some R&D development oh, a long time ago for NSI that not many people would know about um, and going over and seeing the labs and the, the workings of it and all of that, I was like, oh, I'm never having my own brand ever I mean I can't deal with that <laughs> uh, roll on five years later <laughs> but I, it really did pique my interest I really got interested in why certain chemicals are used what they do what's their purpose um, and that's probably as much as I said that at the time years later I was like I want a product that does this but I can't find it you know, or I need one that is affordable for students and starters, you know, and it's like, how can I do this? And yeah, I started off, I was only going to do acrylic. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's developed into something much bigger and it takes up nearly all my time. You oh, know, developing you. products is no easy um, thing to do. You know, I know a lot of people might say otherwise, but it's really not. 
I think not when you're you're doing it correctly and you're going through all the right portals and getting the right checks on it that it's it's not an overnight process it's not something you can just have an idea for stick a label on something and away you go there's so much more involved I think and I think that's um something as well we're going to be we're going to be touching on everything over the next you know the, the next six months specifically is very um I would say um, going over the basics again with hard gels with poly gels with acrylics and you know showing my way of application and preparation and you know and the basic chemistry and then we're going to be going really in depth and and I really want it to be a place where people know that every month they're going to come and learn something new or maybe even pick up new tips and tricks but I really want to give everybody an insight into you know the other side of the industry as well like it's not just sticking a label on a product um you know the, the development that goes into this stuff I mean and, and as a brand we're, we're very you know what I'm like I'm very particular and we don't just have our products tested in-house at the manufacturers that make it for us I ship it to Jim McConnell and we have it tested there as well on top of that and for safety and for you know curing in different lamps and stuff um, and I just think that's you know it breeds confidence um, in smaller brands hopefully and I like to lead by example so I like to do things the right way I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but I think it's important um that that's what we have going forward in the industry um so i'm going to give everyone an insight into what actually goes on behind the scenes as well in one of the series wow. and i think they'll be quite surprised at how much goes into even one color <laughs> yeah, no definitely i can imagine because i mean one thing i know personally that you always do is your due diligence on every single project that you work on and every single product that you work on and um yeah it's it's exciting to see all of the different arenas and all of the launches you still manage to come up with so regularly and meeting those trends and meeting those industry demands through your products and now through um education as well where do you find the time um my family would probably say I, uh, that's all I do. Um, I, I, I wrote a, a, a section for a book recently for Cheryl Theobald in Canada. And one of, that was one of the things that was asked. And for me, I feel like with what I do, it runs through my blood. I know that sounds probably a bit weird, but it's, um, it is my life, yeah. you know, and I feel I do have some time off. I have a week off every year <laughs> um, where I always spend it with the, you know, the family. Um, and this year was the first time we've been away for three years because of COVID, so it was really nice. Um, and I have got a good team of people around me, but ultimately, people probably won't believe this. It is me and Brett, who's my husband, and my daughter that helps me out with graphics and digital images and stuff. She's very, very good at it. That's it. Wow. There is just us. Um, so as a business, we're at that middle ground where we're, not quite that big but we're not small and it just it's 16 hour days six seven days a week sometimes um and but I do love it I love making sure that what I do is right for people I think it's really really important I know I keep going on about it but you know if our interest is going to move forward in a positive way with all the stuff that's happening with allergies especially um I like I say I'm a big believer in education um and I think that that is the key to a lot of stuff and brands being responsible, yeah. you know, and doing things properly and not just, you know, putting it out there and, you know, not understanding the chemistry behind what they're selling and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm waffling a little bit, but. No, not at all, not at all. Absolutely. It's, it's nice to kind of, you know, just reaffirm that passion that you have for this industry that's always been so prevalent but to just you know give give our, our followers and our watchers a bit of an insight into you know what goes into what you're doing and um, you know you're, you're speaking from experience as well and I think this is why HD Now TV is going to be so popular and not just because it's getting all of your knowledge everything we've just spoken about um into uh, an, at least an eight-part series once a month for just 29.99 which is just well, um, I think it's just going to be so important for people to to understand what's what's gone into it as well. And we've had a couple of questions. Okay. Um, 
Uh, also, uh, someone loves the idea of calling it nail flicks as well, as <laughs> referring to our Netflix comment earlier. Well, I but, wasn't sure about HD Now TV because of the whole HD thing, but it's my name and it actually stands for Hazel Dixon Tutorial Videos. So it, it's got a double sort of meaning. Um, I thought it was quite cool. So. And they'll probably be in high definition anyway. So it just yeah, has a double so, meaning. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've had a comment from Kimberly. Um, so anyone that signs up to um, HD Nail TV, obviously they can access the series at any time while they're a subscriber. Is that correct? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a difficult one trying to figure out how to actually set it up so that it was also, um, I'm a very fair person. So, um, oh, I think, am I still fro am I frozen? No, you're fine, you're good. <laughs> um, so I didn't want, um, you know, everyone that signs up in August will get access to August's um, series. Um, and then uh, providing they continue as an active subscriber, they will keep access to every single month that they've subscribed. If they unsubscribe, they will lose access at the end of that month um, to the previous ones. And I will be completely honest and transparent. The reason for that is I felt that if someone in 12 months time signed up, and pay $29.99 and they've got access to a whole year's worth that someone else had paid for I thought that that was a you know it was a little bit unfair on those that had paid the money to do it um, but we do have an option for people if they have missed a month that they can email and um, that you know we can sort out or arrange payment for the months that they want um, because what will happen is when they log um, when they go onto the website they will see at the bottom which months and what is included in each month. So some people might only want two or three months. Um, but I think once they've done one, they'll want the rest. <laughs> and you can never learn too much. I think that's, oh, the, that's Even I'm doing. still learning every day, literally every day, I still learn something or, you know, I can't wait to get back traveling. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Kimberly said, um, for those that subscribe, is there an area, and I presume this might be just on the general um, HD uh, Pro Facebook, is there an area where subscribers can, you know, have a chat about things or contact the educators or something like that? Yeah, there's an option. There's an email that they can email me directly and chat to me if they want to. And in general, we also have a, uh, we have the HD Process Accent Support Group on Facebook, where we normally direct everybody over to there and they can ask their questions because we have our team of educators that are very knowledgeable as well. So if it's a technical question or anything like that, they can go on there. And to be honest, my messenger is always open to anybody. The only thing I would say that is sometimes messenger can play havoc with me because if I'm not friends with them it goes into some other inbox that mm -hmm. I don't get to see sometimes so um so yeah uh, add me as a friend and then yeah that's absolutely fine I'm accessible with that or a phone call or anything I'm quite happy with either, uh, any and of this is why you don't really sleep and <laughs> this is why you're always busy <laughs> <laughs> but um thank you so much for telling us about HD Now TV it's really exciting to kind of learn more about it and uh, have you uh, are you able to share any sneak peeks about what kind of things might be coming up for September and October or is it all under wraps <laughs> I'm trying um, I'm doing the journalist month, thing, I'm just poking let me just get my list up because I have a list because <laughs> I have obviously pre-done some of the series mm -hmm. um I'm trying to draw it out because you, <laughs> <laughs> you're under pressure in your life so I just so thought I'd see the opportunity next month is all about acrylic and the chemistry ratios bead pickup we cover um working in a hot environment and a cool environment because it's relative to competitions as well i've just written an article actually for next month and um, for scratch and um yeah your environment that you're working with any products can make a massive difference i'm hoping that will help a lot of people um trying to oh we've got let's talk nows with kaylee Carnes, obviously Fantastic. um it's next month um i'm going to keep the rest a secret but yeah that's basically what that is and then the month after is all about the builders in a bottle um, which again is quite relevant at the moment um, and we go through that and um, yeah and there might be if anyone Tracy Lee 
Oh, fantastic. So Queen of Extreme Nails, I'm you. so much for. So, oh, you've hit with us loads of nibbles there. I, I wasn't have. That much. Thank so, yeah, you very she's much. coming up soon as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and Maria Santani. We've oh, got her on. So, yeah, we've got lots of lots of in itself. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's kind of like a, yeah, it's a bit of everything that hopefully we can cover. I want to cover as much as possible. And if any of the subscribers have got any suggestions or something that I, you know, might not have done um then absolutely i will do it so yeah fantastic thank you so much and just finally where can our viewers sign up to hd now tv okay so if they go to www.hdnailacademyonline.com <laughs> i've got um, it up so i could just verify that it is. <laughs> well, and if they then. click on the hd now tv tab they scroll down and you click subscribe and you can subscribe and if you want to unsubscribe you just go to paypal and do it it's fairly straightforward and easy and then i give you access um and you can you can log in via that with your account or you can actually log in via our other uh, website i put a link for student portal as well you can click on that and log in there as well brilliant I am just popping the web address in the comments. Yeah, it is hdnailacademyonline.com. Um, so get subscribing. Very exciting. And we can't wait to uh, see what you keep coming up with It's uh, and what the next series will hold. So thank yeah, you so I'll much. I'll be posting a little sort of video soon that will give snippets of what's coming up for the next month. Um, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> Well, I think you're excused. You've had enough going on the last few months. But um, August series is out now. Um, so anyone that's interested in that and learning about full cover um, tips and some business ideas and also that fabulous interview with Calvin um, Madison Jones as well. Uh, there's so much on there. I'm looking at, you know, there's nail art tutorials for Chrome and Sugar Rainbow Nail Art, Rainbow Ombres. Oh, so much stuff. In yeah the- and also um yesterday um i've decided to also add in every month it'll be another episode um to do with trends and color trends and stuff so we're gonna i'm gonna be incorporating that into it and how people can use that for inspiration to make their own designs um so yes yeah, so another thing already i'm adding to it um because i think that's important we got i get asked a lot about that so i'm gonna add that in um so yeah i'm ex- i'm excited Yeah, we're all excited. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about it and uh, looking forward to following the series and uh, the the journey as it goes and seeing more wonders from the world of HD. (laughs) This time next year, there'll be fantasy, extreme shapes, like the world's your oyster. You'll be able to see everything. So All going on. Well, thank you so much, Hazel. And uh, we'll catch up again soon. Yeah, see you later.